Hey there fellow riders! Welcome back to our channel! Today we're delving into the electrifying world of e-bike kits designed for the iconic Brompton Foldable Bike Series. We all know that owning a Brompton e-bike can sometimes strain our wallets, right? But fret not, because we've got some seriously cool alternatives lined up for you. RCC Conversion, CITRONX Kits, Switch Bikes Universal Electric Kit, Pendix E-Drive 500, Tiny Boost E-Bike Conversion Kit, and Addy Next. Phew, that's quite the lineup. But before we delve into the specifics of each kit, let's address the elephant in the room. Brompton's e-bike series often comes with a hefty price tag. So for those of us seeking a more budget-friendly option without compromising on performance, these e-bike kits are absolute game changers. So stay tuned as we embark on a journey to explore each kit, discussing their features, performance, and of course, the all-important factor, bang for your buck. Let's electrify our Brompton experience without breaking the bank. Let's roll. Let's start with the ARCC kit, a kit that boasts a captivating design and features. Its module comprises several components. One, Dynamo Hub Motor. This motor, installed at the front, replaces the original Brompton front tire, providing powered assistance. Two, Controller Kit. The controller kit can mount it either at the front or on the Brompton rack using specially designed connectors. Three, Handlebar Mounted Controller. A compact controller is attached to the Brompton's handlebar, making it incredibly easy to adjust with various assist levels. 4. Torque-based sensor. Instead of the conventional motion sensor, this kit utilizes a torque or pressure-based sensor, enhancing the riding experience. 5. Battery integration. The battery is connected to the Brompton rack directly, establishing a seamless link with the kit's controller. This kit is meticulously designed with advanced technology. Reviews suggest that the motor provides an exceptional user experience, which is further supported by the torque sensor embedded in the system. For a detailed review, be sure to check out the channel that has thoroughly explored its capabilities, accessible through the description link. Next in line is the Citroen X Kits. This kit shares a similar design with the RCC kits, but with a notable difference in the type of sensor used. While RC employs a sensor mounted on the bottom bracket, Citroen X kits position the sensor in the rear gear area. Additionally, the motor controller is integrated with the battery, giving it a sleek and minimalist appearance. Here's a breakdown of its components. 1. Dynamo Hub Motor. Like the ARC kits, this motor is installed at the front, replacing the original Brompton front tire. 2. Integrated Battery and Motor Controller Kit. The battery and motor controller kit are combined into a single unit, creating a simple and stylish look. 3. Handlebar Mounted Controller. The controller mounted on the Brompton's handlebar is designed to be simple and minimalist. 4. Motion or Speed Sensor. Unlike ARCC, Citroen X kits utilize a motion or speed sensor installed in the rear wheel area of the Brompton. This kit features a sleek and minimalist design. Its performance is highly regarded and has even been tested on one of London's famous steep routes by its owner. If you're interested in a detailed video, the link is provided in the description below. The next contestant is the Switch Bike Universal Electric Kit 2024. This kit has been around for quite some time in the market and can be categorized as one of the most affordable kits among those recommended in this video. Switch essentially utilizes existing kits available in the market, or kits from China, but redesigns them with a more appealing model and improved quality. The battery and controller are crafted to be better and sleeker. Here's a breakdown of its components. One hub motor. Similar to other kits, this motor is installed at the front, replacing the original Brompton front tire. Two, motor controller kit. The motor controller kit is made simpler compared to typical Chinese kits. Three, handlebar mounted controller. The controller mounted on the Brompton's handlebar is designed to be simple and minimalist. Four, motion sensor or magnet. Unlike previous kits, Switch utilizes a motion sensor or magnet attached to the bottom bracket. 5. Battery. The battery is designed to be simpler and slimmer. In terms of user experience, this kit may not differ significantly from cheaper Chinese kits, since it shares a similar concept and potentially uses the same firmware. Overall, its performance is quite good, and it can be purchased at a very affordable price. For more details, check out the link provided in the description below. The next contestant is the Pendix E-Drive 500 for Brompton. This kit falls under the category of mid-drive motors, which is a departure from the previous kits 
where the motor was always located at the front of the tire. Instead, Pendix eDrive 500 is uniquely designed to be installed at the bottom bracket of the bike. This German manufactured kit is indeed one of the best in terms of performance, range, and battery availability. Its technology and design speak for themselves, being a product made in Germany. Here's a breakdown of its components. 1. Custom designed motor for bottom bracket installation. Unlike other kits, this motor is specifically designed to be installed at the bottom bracket. 2. Battery. The battery is installed on the Brompton frame and also serves as the controller for adjusting the desired assist level. This kit has been reviewed extensively, and its performance and durability are unquestionable. However, what sets it apart is also its price, which is the highest among the kits mentioned earlier. For more details, you can check out the video link provided in the description. The penultimate contestant is the Tiny Boost e-bike conversion kit for Brompton. Boost has long been known for releasing kits for regular bicycles, and now they've come up with a specific kit tailored for the Brompton folding bike. True to its name, the Boost kit is indeed tiny, small, and simple. Unlike some of the kits previously discussed, the hub motor is located in the rear wheel, integrated with the controller, making the installation process remarkably compact compared to other kits in this lineup. Here's a breakdown of its components. 1. Integrated hub motor with controller and sensor. This motor is seamlessly integrated with the controller and sensor, mounted on the rear wheel. 2. Minimalist controller. The controller, mounted on the handlebar, is minimalistic and allows for easy adjustment of the assist level. 3. Compact battery. The battery is designed to be small enough to be stored in the rear bottom bracket area. Overall, the appearance of this kit is sleek and maintains the classic shape of the Brompton itself. In terms of performance, it shows promising results, with the range depending on the level of assist used. For a detailed review, you can check out the video link provided in the description. And finally, let's talk about the Addy Next Conversion Kit for Brompton. Among the array of kits available, this one stands out as the lightest option. Its quality is absolutely top-notch, and it proudly hails from Germany. This kit adopts a unique approach by positioning the drive motor on the rear wheel, utilizing a special type of brushless motor. Installation of the Addy Next Conversion Kit may require some minor modifications to your Brompton bike. The kit comprises several components as showcased in the accompanying video, drive motor, speed sensor, motor controller, pedal assist control mounted on the handlebar, battery, several connector parts or kits required for installation. Overall, the performance of this kit is exceptional, offering a promising range. However, there have been some complaints regarding slipping between the tire and the motor, particularly during rainy seasons. This issue may be attributed to improper installation methods. For more detailed information, including a comprehensive review, make sure to check out the video review provided in the description below. That's it for the six highly recommended e-bike kits for Brompton enthusiasts. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.